Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 8th grade concept of surface area. This is standard 8.7b in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 34 off the 2022 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have a new refrigerator, comes in a box shaped like a rectangular prism, makes sense. So the base of the box is four by five, and then they're gonna give us the total surface area, that's interesting, 148, and we're looking for the height, okay. So let's draw a picture here, and we can just kind of use that as uh, just kind of a visual here. All right, so here's a little refrigerator box. All right, so we're looking for the total surface area. So we're not looking for the volume, but the total surface area, right? It's going to equal the perimeter times the height plus double the base. So what we need to find is we need to find the perimeter of the base all right, so it says we've got a four by five. Really what we're looking for is the height, but all they give us is the four by five. And so if we get the perimeter of this base and then multiply that by the height, that's gonna take care of all of these uh, four rectangles that are connecting the two bases. That's gonna give us a surface area of those. And then we need to find the, the two bases separately, the surface area of the top and the bottom separately. Well, we can't figure out what that is, uh, but we know everything else. Take a look. So our total surface area is 148. All right, so we have to solve for this uh, for this H here. Um, perimeter. Well, the perimeter is just adding up all four sides, right? So it's perimeter equals double the length, double the width. So that's going to equal 2 times 5 plus 2 times 4. So that's 10 plus 8. All right, 18. So I've got 18 times this height, which is what we're looking for, uh, plus 2B. All right, so that base is going to be the area of the base. So that's just going to be... Uh, base times height, so that's 4 times 5. All right, so that equals 20. All right, so that equals 2 times 20. So look at that. I've got everything I need to except for this H. So we're going to need to simplify this a little bit. 148 equals 18H plus 40. All right, so... What I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract 40 from both sides, right? And that's going to be 18H plus 40 minus 40. So now I've got 108 equals 18H. Now this is looking a little bit more like what we're used to, okay? So we're going to now divide both sides by 18. And guess what we get? We get a nice, round, even six. Now, if we want to, we could plug this six back up into here and to make sure it gets us into 148, but it would work. But we're not done yet. We could do all that work and we could still get it incorrect if we don't bubble it incorrectly. So on our answer document, you're going to get a really thin, narrow column with no bubbles underneath. That is your decimal point. You've got two digits to the right of the decimal point. You're going to ignore both of those. No need to put zeros or anything. There's four digits to the left. By now, in eighth grade, we should be really good at place value, but if not, this is six ones. The ones place is always to the left. So there we go. Bubble that in, and you're good.